Hello team and welcome to today's video where we're going to be taking a look at how to protect your worksheet so that no edits can be made to your data. Additionally, we'll take a look at how to leave certain cells within your data editable while the other cells remain protected. Let's jump in. On my candy store spreadsheet showing different candy stores, the items they sold, units sold, and overall revenue based on sale price. Let's take a look at how to protect our sheet so no edits can be made. On the Review tab in your Excel ribbon, click Protect Sheet. A menu will open up that will allow you some different options for what you want your users to be able to do. Optionally as well, you can enter a password to be able to unprotect the sheet. For this example, I'll enter a password and click OK. Excel will ask for it one more time and click OK again. Now if I try to click into any of the cells, Excel provides a message letting me know the worksheet is protected and no edits can be made. I'll click OK. If I'd like to remove the worksheet protection, I can click Unprotect Sheet. Excel will prompt me for the password. I'll enter that in, click OK, and now I can click into the cells and make edits as needed. Now let's take a look at how to protect our worksheet while still allowing users to edit data for certain cells. The cells that I have here highlighted in green for units sold and sale price, I want my users to be able to edit based on the most recent data. The other columns, including revenue, which is a formula of units sold multiplied by sale price, I want to protect so no changes can be made. In order to complete this, we need to select the cells where we want our users to be able to make edits. You could complete this by simply clicking and dragging over the cells you want to highlight. But if you have a larger spreadsheet, another way to target all the highlighted cells is by using the Find menu, which you can access by selecting Ctrl plus F on the keyboard. You'll notice in the Find and Replace dialog box, you have the ability to search by text, but also by formatting. In order to select the formatting I want to target, I can use the Format dropdown and enter the format manually if I'd like, but I can also select Choose Format from Cell. I'll click this option and then click the cell with the formatting I'm looking to target. Now I can select Find All and then Control plus A on the keyboard to have Excel highlight all of those items. We can now close out of the Find and Replace dialog box, and now all those items with the formatting I was searching for have been selected. To ensure your users can make edits to these cells as needed, we need to get to the Format Cells menu. To do so, you can click Control plus one on your keyboard or right click and select Format Cells. On the Protection tab of the Format Cells dialog box, uncheck the Locked option and then click OK. Now, when I go back to protect my sheet, this time I won't enter a password, I'll just click OK. You'll notice if I try and click into the revenue box, Excel gives me the message, this field can't be changed. But if I need to make a change for the units sold for Baron Snacks for gummies to 120, I can make that edit. I can also change the sale price to $4 as needed and revenue will update. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell for future videos. I'll see you next time.